Welcome back to my channel, Jessie's Chaos of Creativity. And before I begin, I would request all of you to subscribe my channel. I post videos every week, so you'll be getting weekly updates. And okay, yesterday's date, it was Friday the 13th. And although I had no encounter with a ghost, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I don't know. So I decided, it all of a sudden came to my mind and I <clears throat> decided to create the video on ghosts. Okay. Ghosts are defined as like, you know, people of literature, we do not go into definitions. But still, to define ghosts, since it's scientific too, I define ghost as the soul of the dead. The soul of the dead concept is a bit too old, but... I'll tell you how old this actually is. It goes back to the first men on earth, uncivilized, with no shelter, with hunters, food gatherers, men who have no idea why this shining orb rises in one direction, sets in the other, you know, travels all the way across the sky to set in the other. And why this dark object follows them everywhere they go a day and by nightfall it disappears that would be a reference to the shadow they did not know what the shadow is so these men who have no idea of what goes on around them of course did not know the difference in between sleep death fainting or a man landing in a coma so this is interesting okay they had two different funerals one when the man fell asleep and did not wake for some quite some time it might have been a poor tired fellow sleeping for long and the second was done when the man did not wake up for days he might have landed in a coma but he was declared dead as if he did not wake up again so, if this man is seriously in a coma or has fainted and has not woken up for days, he might su suddenly, all of a sudden, regain consciousness and start walking again. And that is a dead man walking. The dead man walking to them is a ghost. See, 21st century, we ruled by signs. We know what is a sleepwalk. They did not know what is a sleepwalk. To them, it was a ghost. So that is how old the soul of the dead is and also the first kind of worship since they were not pantheists they did not worship nature the first kind of worship was the worship of the dead and this was celebrated actually because they thought that the soul of the person who died was reunited with the souls of the forefathers so this was very you know it was a reason to celebrate for them. Okay, so in literature, we have so many ghosts. Like it's full of ghosts sometimes, like, um, uncountable. And one of my, actually two of my favorites, they come from Shakespeare. One is the ghost of King Hamlet. And the second is Banco's ghost, viewed by Macbeth in the banquet. So, other than this, we have classics like The Canterville Ghost by Oscar, uh, not Oscar Wilde, yeah, I think it's Oscar Wilde. Um, it's a beautiful one. I'd recommend everyone to read this because for all this for children, but elders, they too would love it. And then we have our favorite Harry Potter series where our very own... Hogwarts houses about 20 ghosts, including the four house ghosts, the nearly headless Nick whose head has been chopped four, 45 times and it's bad. Okay. And then we have the Bloody Baron, we have Lady Ravenclaw, that will be Helena Ravenclaw. Although they're not to be feared, none of them, except uh, King Hamlet, according to me, because, uh, you know, it's the mixture of a ghost with the disappointment of a father, so it's pretty scary. 
and then we have not much more so we have a lot of them I'm not referring to them now but what we fear is you know it's said that people fear a particular kind of ghost that they have read about or seen like our elders you know the ghosts our elders will think of will not be the ones that we would imagine we would imagine something like a doll a ghostly doll possessed by a demonic spirit that would be Annabel or somebody walking down the stairs in a white dress but what are uh, you know what the other generations would think the older generations they think of a skeleton uh, walking around that would be quite irrelevant to us because we cannot think of what use is a skeleton that's supposed to be kept in the wild lab we are afraid of dots so actually they're completely on your mental setup like you know we have Ed Warren saying that uh, Diabolic forces do exist still today. The God exists, the devil exists, and our very uh, fate hinges on what we decide to follow, we choose to follow. So, if we choose to follow the path of the others, if we choose to believe, we'll be afraid. If we don't believe, we won't be afraid. I'm not saying don't be afraid. Look, uh, you know, look behind your shoulder. There might be a ghost. So, can't help that, you know. <laughs> It's on our minds. So I'd like to end this with, um, you know, if any of you have had an encounter, please do let me know because I haven't had any. I've stayed up, you know, several nights looking for ghosts around, but nobody came to my rescue. So if you've had an encounter, please do let me know. And, okay, I'll be coming back next week with another topic. Let me think about it, what comes to my mind. And for that... Please do subscribe my channel and you'll be getting updates every week. Thank you so much. Speak. I am bound to hear. So art thou to revenge when thou dost hear? What? I am thy father's spirit, doomed for a certain turn. The night and for the day confined to fire. Which of you have done this? What, my good lord? Thou canst not say I did it. Never shift thy gory locks at